Hello guys, this is Dhamid Vidhi. In this video, we'll talk about some string operations. So in this video, we'll talk about this question where you have write a program to accept two string from the user and perform the following operations. So first we'll do is find out the length of both the strings. We'll concatenate this two string and then we'll convert the first string into uppercase. So let's start with the task. So let me go back to my uh, IDE which is Nadine's. So the first task is to find out the length of both the strings. Okay, so let, let's take this input from user. So in order to take the input from user, first we'll take two strings, we'll say S1 and S2. So we have this two string. And to take input from user, we can use something called a scanner class here. So this is scanner is equal to new scanner. And this will say this is uh, system dot in. Okay, so to take input from user, we have to use a class which is scanner, and then we have to specify from where you will be getting the input, which is system dot in. Uh, in order to use this scanner class, we need to import the package, and the package we require here is which is uh, Java dot util. So we'll import that package using Control Shift I shortcut in NetBeans. And now once you got the object of scanner. Let's assign that value to S1. So before that, we'll ask user to enter values. So we'll say enter two strings. Okay. So once user see this message, user will enter two string or two uh, string values. So one will be stored in S1, which is SC dot. So in order to take the input from user, we need an, a string value, right? So this SC object, which is object of scanner class, has lots of methods. So one of the method is next line. So next line will give you the string. So we got string one, we got, uh, let's talk about string two. So this is your string two, which is again next line. Now we got, now we got two string. Let's see what next. Now once you got this two string, let's concatenate them. Now in order to concatenate two string, let's use the third variable, which is SC. And how to concatenate? So string class, uh, let's say, we, do you have some method? Yes, we have a method here. So it says concat, we have to pass string two. So s1.concat s2, it will return a string, and let's print that value. So we'll say s out, and we'll say concat, uh, we'll say result of concatenation. is dash and the value will be s3. So this s3 will have a value of uh, s1 plus s2. Uh, so let's try to run this. Let's see if you, are, if you are getting the first operation. So we'll say shift f6, it's waiting for the two input. We'll say hello everyone. So that's my first string, enter. It's waiting for the second string. We'll say welcome to Telesco Linux. And you can see the answer is it's concatenated. So we are getting hello everyone. Welcome to Telesco Linux. Okay, so that's how you have to concatenate two string. So this is the only way to concatenate. So we have one more way. So what we can do is we can also use, so we'll just comment this part. Let's say comment. It's there. So in order to concat, we can also use S1 plus S2. Okay, so this is this is also this is also the way you can uh, you know you can concat to string, and if you run this, uh, this time I will directly go with some blah 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 st statements and again some blah 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 statement. So it is again going for concatenation. Okay, so we have we have these two ways. One is your plus operator, or either you can use the method of uh, string class, which is concat. So that's our first operation. Now let's see the second operation here. Oh, we are done with, oh, we have done with the second operation. So let's start with the first one, which is find out the length of two strings. So I have done the reverse part. So this is your second part. So how to find the length? So we'll say length will be saved in uh, int variable. We'll say L1 to store the length of the first string. Now in order to fetch the length of the first string, we'll say S1 dot. So there's a method called as length, straightforward. Okay, and we'll say L2, which in which we'll be having the second statement, we'll say S2 dot length. So in L1, we have S1 dot length, and in L2, we have S2 dot length. 
let us print this length, we will say s out, uh, we will say string 1 or string 1 length is, we will say colon and we will print plus l1 which will print the string length, string 1 length and let us copy the statement down using control shift down arrow, we will say string 2 length is l2, simple. And if we run this, let us enter two statements, build one is null and ready and second is tell is true. Right. And if I say enter now, so the length of the first string is 11, the second is 7. Cool. So that is our second task, our first and second task done. Now convert the first string into uppercase. Okay. So we need to convert the first string into uppercase. For that, what we will do is we will go down here because this is the third step. So let me just write here, this is uh, step 1, this is step 2 and let us go for step 3, so which is this step 3. Now in step 3, we have to, uh, we have to convert the first string into uppercase, which is our S only the first string here. So in order to convert into uppercase, it's straightforward, we will say S1 equal to S1 dot. So there is a method called as uh, to uppercase. So if you use the inbuilt function of a string class which has a method called to uppercase, it will convert your string into uppercase. Okay, now uh, let me print the value. So we will say uh, first string in uppercase. Okay, and we will print. So we will say space colon and we'll print here S1, okay. And now if we run this, so let's take the same thing, now we're in ready and there is go. And if I say enter, so again the length is 11 and 7, so we got 11 ready and tell score. And you can see the first string get converted into the uppercase. 